Hi everyone, Professor Davis here from ChemSurvival.com and the YouTube channel ChemSurvival. And today I thought we'd talk a little bit about aspartame, one of the most successful and popular artificial sweeteners of all time, and also an organic molecule. Aspartame's sweetness was discovered in 1965 by a scientist named James M. Schlatter. Schlatter was working for G.D. Serlin Company, trying to develop, of all things, an anti-ulcer drug. He had synthesized the methyl ester of a dipeptide made from phenylalanine and aspartic acid as an intermediate in the synthesis of what he hoped would be his new drug compound. Now, we owe Schlatter's discovery to a bit of a lab hygiene lapse on his part. You see, he accidentally tasted some chemical residue on his hand when he licked his fingers to turn the pages in a book one day. He realized immediately the sweetness must have been caused by something he was working with in the lab, and the fact he hadn't poisoned himself led him to the conclusion that he was on to the next great artificial sweetener. Aspartame has two linkages, an amide linkage and an ester linkage. And these two motifs hold together three different molecules which have been condensed into one. Those molecules are methanol, phenylalanine, and aspartic acid. So once aspartame crosses your lips and enters your digestive tract, the water, acids, and enzymes in your body quickly hydrolyze it into its constituent components. So very rapidly that aspartame molecule actually becomes three molecules, one of methanol, one of phenylalanine, and one of aspartic acid. It's that methanol that has some people concerned that there may be implications for vision when it comes to consuming large quantities of aspartame. So let's ask ourselves this question, is the amount of methanol that aspartame can generate really problematic? So is consumption of aspartame really bad for your vision? Well, to answer this question, we have to start by acknowledging a fact. And that fact is that aspartame itself is much sweeter than sugar, 200 times sweeter than sugar. What this means is that about 180 milligrams of aspartame is all that it takes to achieve a sweetness similar to 36 grams of sugar, the amount that you'd find in a typical soda. So we can run a quick calculation and determine exactly how much methanol we expect to be generated when we consume a typical amount of aspartame. It requires 22 milligrams of water to hydrolyze 180 milligrams of aspartame. And the products of this hydrolysis include 81 milligrams of aspartic acid, 101 milligrams of phenylalanine, and 20 milligrams of methanol. So now we can refine our question from is aspartame bad for your vision down to is 20 milligrams of methanol bad for your vision? Because this is the amount that we expect to get from a typical quantity of aspartame that we consume. If we compare this amount of methanol, the 20 milligrams in a typical diet soda, to the amount of methanol generated metabolically by the consumption of some other common beverages, what we find is that, in fact, the amount of methanol generated by consumption of a diet soda is about the same as an equal volume of grape juice, and is even less than equal volumes of tomato juice or red wines. So if it were true that this amount of methanol were dangerous, we would expect tomato lovers and wine drinkers to be the ones having the vision problems first, and of course we don't see that. So the take home lesson here is that the amount of methanol generated by the metabolism of a typical dose of aspartame is very, very unlikely to have any deleterious effects on vision. That's all for now, everybody. I'm Professor Davis from ChemSurvival.com and the YouTube channel ChemSurvival. I'll see you on my next video. The preceding content is an excerpt from my new course, which I developed in collaboration with The Great Courses. It's available now for sale on DVD and download. For more information, you can go to my website, www.chemsurvival.com. That's www.chemsurvival.com. That's all for now, everyone. I'm Professor Davis, and as always, I'll see you on my next video.